the contracts that were awarded rather late to build seven power stations, to build a new rail system for Nigeria have all been suspended. And last week I learned that the power stations being built in the Niger Delta are now going to cost $7 billion more. So in addition to all that has been spent, we are spending another $7 billion because the contracts were suspended for the past four years. Across the nations of the earth, in Egypt, in Tunisia, in Yemen, in Jordan, now in Libya, a wind is blowing. And for those who have eyes to see and ears to hear, that wind of change is the will of the people versus the power of the incumbents. I was told a lie, but I want you to understand that is a lie. One prominent politician in the MPN days said, it's only in Nigeria that when you begin to travel towards the north, the population begins to increase. In any other part of West Africa, the population thinks down because of so much desert. I have been to the campaign with General Muhammad Buhari. The people you see are not goats. They are real human beings. And they come in their thousands and hundreds of thousands because they believe this is the man with a message of change. We didn't hire them, we didn't give them money, just as nobody hired you this money to come into this place. We simply put one advert in the newspaper and we began to tell people, come and hear the message of change that we have for you. The population of the north is dense. I saw those young people with my eyes. Many times general could not come out of the club. Any right-thinking government, we know that the reason for the uprising of people is because they feel economically excluded. Oh. Any government that will see an Algerian arrive must create jobs and jobs and jobs and jobs and more jobs. How are we going to do it? A CPC government is not going to go to the west to the east, to the north, to the south, by the grace of God, and because people have been assembled in this nation to help this purpose of change, we will do it within our country. We will seek expertise where we don't have, but we are not going to go borrowing and heavily tax Nigerians again, and we will create jobs.
After being head of state, I am sure I could easily have retired into a life of comfort and ease as an elder statesman, as a contractor, or as a beneficiary of any one of the nation's many generous offerings. But that's not what I wish to do with my life. And so, if I don't take any of these alternative causes of action, it would be clear that I'm not in this for the love of office or pursuit after personal glory or in order to achieve some personal goal. I need nothing and I have nothing more to prove. I'm in this solely for the love of my country and concern for its destiny and the fate of its people. And that is why, despite many disappointments along the way, I am still in the struggle and will maintain in it to the end. I have decided to dedicate the remainder of my life to fighting for the people of this country until their right is restored. We call on you to join us and change the destiny of this nation. And change is what CPC is all about. I am sure you will all agree with me that the question is not whether there we should change, because change we must. The only questions remaining are determining the type of change and the speed with which that change will be implemented. To effect this, we have assembled a team of competent, experienced, and patriotic Nigerians to become the vanguard of the change to get the country out of the woods and away from the malaise that has kept it down. We are on a rescue mission to recreate Nigeria and transform it into a powerful and prosperous nation. Our focus will be on improving the efficiency of the national economic management and the reintroduction of national economic development planning and the plan to successfully manage the change. The area of emphasis of our government will be on the following five. Ensuring security, in which a CPC government will seek the disarmament of all criminal gangs in the nation and securing the entire polity, raising the standard of education and providing quality services at all its levels. The aggressive pursuit after youth development and the youth empowerment generation, rehabilitating dilapidated infrastructure and the total disarming of the Niger Delta, finding solution to its social problems and laying down a comprehensive blueprint for the development of the area. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu alaikum jama'an Nigeria. Ibrahim ya lalle ne ba kan da mai raka jana Muhammad Buhari ruko sai ne gaskiya. Dauke da sabuwar kasida na jami'ar CPC 
mai alama alƙalami mai takin canji wanda aka miki da Salfa Musical Studio Kano da Jani saka zauro ya kida ba shi ya dauke ni tare da taimakon Nura Baba da Awali Shabe ke zuwa lokacin farawa cikin izinin Allah